This show was brought to you by these lovely people. Hey there, you lovely NPR enthusiasts. We have a super show this time. And the highlights are first, Ranking of Kings uses Blender in layout. Second, Wisdom Words from Worthy Kids. And third, Elden Ring with a PS1 aesthetic. Welcome to the BMPR show, a celebration of stylized rendering. You want to know what's hot? These peak NPR artworks. Please enjoy. Ranking of Kings, a manga by Sosuke Toka, published by Karakawa, with the anime produced by Wit Studio, has one scene in episode 21 of the anime that is planned using Blender. The scene in question is a battle between Prince Boji and King Boss. Studio Gosso shares how that scene is planned in their Twitter. The reason the scene is planned in 3D is because it's too tedious to get all the perspectives right with such dynamic camera work. An ambitious scene requires an ambitious solution. So that is using 3D to lay out the continuous shot, then redraw by hand on top of that to give the authentic hand-drawn feel. Ranking of Kings is unlike any other anime. By the time you watch this show, the final episode should have been aired. So go watch it, it's excellent. In other news, Colopsy is currently working on these very familiar nodes for Malt. The plan is to port over as many of the most common nodes from Eevee to Malt. So please go to this GitHub discussion to see the progress of these new nodes. Let's start with a simple and fun tutorial, Creating Dragon Balls Flying Nimbus by Simon3D. Create a dense polycount mesh and shape it close to the general shape of the flying Nimbus. Next, subdivide the mesh with a subdiv modifier. Add a displacement modifier, use a big cloud texture as the displacement, and an empty as the controller object. Use a Fresnel node with a color ramp for the shading of the cloud. Now, add the tail of the cloud by extruding the mesh, then put a vertex group to only influence the displacement only at the front of the cloud. Animate the empty, and you are done. If you want the cloud to be able to whirl around, use a curve modifier and a curve object to make the cloud trail following the curve. And that's it. Animation Obsessive interviewed Ian Worthington, or more famously known as Worthy Kids. 
Since this is an article with, you know, text, we've summarized it into words of wisdom from Ian on creating solo shows. For full 2D animation like The Wire, first, create the storyboard as rough and then enhance it from there. Second, each character is a grease pencil object. Third, for project management, each shot is a blend file of its own. Materials are linked in. And fourth, the backgrounds are rasters drawn in other software to speed up production. For mixed 2D and 3D animation, like Big Top Burger, most things are 3D objects. The characters' faces are a mix of 3D with grease pencil on top of that to give the hand-drawn feel. A displacement modifier on the mesh to give the silhouette that little bumpy look. And here are a few more general words of wisdom from Ian. To keep production fast, use the least Blender features possible. That way you will not hit or discover Blender's limitations. Start production extremely small. Having huge ambitions but no experience is a bad spot to be in. To be able to do a lot of work faster, please keep yourself fit and in good health. Exercising will not only help the body physically, it will also help it mentally. And we intentionally left one part out, so you'll have to read the whole article when you have the chance. Have you ever wondered how to generate a seamless texture? Well, wonder no more, because Mr. Sorbias has a solution. First, the rendering setup. Add a plane and scale it to 8 by 8 units. Align the camera and make it orthographic, with a scale of 8 as well. Next, change the render resolution to something with a number in the power of 2, that is, 512 or 1024 or 2048, and so on. Change the film's filter size to 0 0.01. This is done to not get color smoothing between colors. We want our pixels to be crisp. Now part two, the shader basic setup. The big idea here is to mix different sizes of the checker textures, meaning we will have big chunky colors and smaller ones. Please also use the scale in the power of two to make the texture seamless. The order of mixing the texture is up to you. The mixing factor is also to your liking. After all these checker textures are mixed, add a noise texture and use the checker texture as the vector. Time to make it colorful. Add a color ramp with a consistent interpolation and choose any color to your liking. Add a map range node before the color ramp to make sure you have wider range you can control. And now play with the parameters on the noise texture to find something you like. You can render the texture now. Part three, the fun part, the automation setup. The first way to animate the parameter is using the value node and use the number frame driver. Next, add a math node using divide and use a big number. Another method is changing the math node with a white noise node. Since the white noise has a range of zero to one, it's very nice to animate the parameters within the range of zero to one. For parameters with different ranges, we can remap the range using, we think you can guess, a range map node. You can go wild with these automations. Offset the value, divide it, multiply it. We think you get the idea already. And just like that, you have endless seamless textures for all purposes. Please give this a try because it is unbounded fun. Elden Ring, PS1 trailer demake by Hulapi. Elden Ring is an open world action RPG developed by From Software and published by Bandai Namco Entertainment. Hulapi demaked the trailer to have the old PlayStation 1 aesthetic. Maybe going old school creates the best emotional impact? Well, we love every part we see, so good job! Watchmaker at Time's End by Shaheen Sheriff. First, the design has so much grittiness. Next, the sound design fits the story well and is very creative for a lower budget production. We really love the indiness on display and it's a must watch for every independent animation creator. Dinobot Park Short by 87 Render. This is a fan animation of the mixture of Jurassic Park and Transformers. If you really look carefully, this short animation has all the same execution as Worthy Kids Tips and maybe, just maybe, those are the recipes to success? 
Since we got asked about links to everything in every video, please visit the show notes. We left quite a few goodies in there. Sometimes there are, well, 100% discount codes and things, wink wink. But now for the most important part, the show is only made possible by these kind-hearted people, so please thank them kindly. Before we go, one final question. If you could make 60 seconds of animation, what would you make?